is going on guys, it's Apollo 1, and today I have some pretty exciting news if it is true. Now, I'm pretty sure this is, something like this is going to happen uh, in Black Ops 3, but there was this image that was put out there, and we're not 100% sure, nobody's really sure if it is 100% true, uh, but I, I'm feeling that if this isn't the exact image, there's going to be something like this uh, in the near future. I can't put it on screen, unfortunately, but I will link it down below, so guys, go down, there'll be like a little link, it'll say link, you just click that, it'll open an image, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, this image is a uh, poster or advertisement for the prestige edition for black ops 3 now it looks really good now I will say that some of these images on here have been recycled and I feel like a poster advertising a uh, new the new game or something like that it wouldn't be as recycled as what we're seeing here so I don't know there, there are some things that are new like the whole prestige edition written on it looks really really clean really nice on uh, the two like quadrotors on both sides I don't know we have seen those before if someone just put a new color correction on them I don't know but I don't know I, don't, I kind of feel feeling now that I look at it more that this image probably isn't real but there's a few things that I want to talk about on it first thing I want to talk about is the black ops missions so it says remastered call of duty black ops missions we're gonna be basically getting missions from uh, black ops 1 black ops 2 put together mashed together and kind of redesigned for black ops 3 so that would be really sick if they did that of course there's a poster up there there's a soundtrack and also we have a uh, soldier loadout I'm not 100% sure what that is but then there's also remastered zombie maps and I feel like this is really not what the the prestige edition is going to be be as cool as it sounds I highly doubt that's what they're gonna do for it usually they do a lot more than that honestly and you get some kind of like in real life objects or some kind of like uh, I don't know for black ops they have the quadrotor like a real quadrotor that you got so I feel like this is definitely fake but look at the bottom guys what do you see I see nuketown 65 now something that we saw from the uh, call of duty black ops 3 ember trailer was the dates that this game most likely is going to be taking place during and the final date on the trailer was 2065 so a lot of people believe this is the date that we're going to be centered around for this game. And uh, I think that's pretty pretty reliable, pretty uh, accurate on what we're going to be seeing. So are we going to be getting Nuketown 2065? I don't know. But I do know that most likely, like 95% sure, that we're going to receive some type of Nuketown remake. We've seen them in the past, and uh, they would be almost stupid not to bring it back because Nuketown is a very uh, loved map and a fan favorite, and they've done it in all the other Black Ops games. They're definitely going to do it in this game. I can almost guarantee that. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that with these new abilities, these new thrusting and, bo and boost moving and stuff like that, that we're to have in Black Ops 3, is Nuketown really like, does, will that work? Will that work with the new movements? Because Nuketown is a very small map. So, this is where it gets interesting. This is an idea that I thought of, and I think this is uh, something that they should do and would be very cool. I'm going to put a few images up on screen, guys, of the original Nuketown map. That's what I want to start with. Now, I'm going to have circled what the Nuketown map is, and then I want you to see what rest of the map is. Guys, the Nuketown map is a lot bigger than what we, we've seen it as and always known it as. There's a lot more to the actual map, and if you look at it from a bird's eye view, it looks like the map's really big. It looks like it's a lot bigger, and it just kind of makes me feel that they might open rest of the map up, something we've never got to play on, turf that we've never uh, got to play on. We'll be able to play on that now, and I think that would be so great, because guys, it would still be a very, very, very small map. It would still be very small, but we'd have these new abilities, and it wouldn't be as crazy, because honestly, with the new movements and everything, I don't think Newtown would work but if they opened it up it would still be a very small map but it would play so awesome it would be we'd have rest, rest of nuketown to play in and uh yeah these images you can kind of see that and uh here's some images of nuketown 2025 it gets even better with nuketown 2025 there's a lot more to the map like outside of the actual map uh like you can see there's kind of like it's more like park feeling and there's more there's just more to it it's more open and there's a lot more obstacles it looks more like an actual map and i just feel with these new like these uh new abilities to kind of mantle over things faster and stuff that these fences you'd be able to mantle over those and kind of like shoot as you're going over them and take out guys that are like hiding out in like the snack bar or something over there or just behind the sign. I don't know. There's just a lot to it. And I think the map would be so sick if they opened it up and it would play really nice with the uh, new exo abilities. That's just my thought, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I thought I really had a good idea here. I haven't heard anybody else talk about this and I want to know what your thoughts and opinions are. Guys, drop a like on today's video. That'd be greatly appreciated. It really helps out the team, guys. And honestly, ratings have been a little low recently. It's kind of it's kind of, it's not demotivating necessarily, but I, I just don't know if you guys are really enjoying what we're putting out, and I feel like you guys aren't really there with us. So if we could shoot for a thousand likes, that would be absolutely insane. That's like a huge, huge number that I'm asking for. Um, if we don't hit that, it's completely fine. I'm not saying that you should like the video, but only I'm just reminding. I'm only reminding you guys that uh, if you did enjoy, it really helps us out. Obviously, subscribe to Carnage Clan if you are new. I guarantee you'll be missing out. You'll only be missing out if you don't subscribe. And uh, also, also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Links are down in the description below, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. 
day, and I'll see you guys later.